Uh, here we have another 1106 size motor. This one is the Sunny Sky Racing R1106 6500 kV. This one I purchased from Banggood. I thought it was just an uh, interesting motor to check. Uh, Sunny Sky usually makes really good motors. So I thought I'd check this one out and see how it compares to the other 1106s. As you can see it's pretty much the same basic uh, configuration as other 1106s. Alright, so here we have another 1106 motor. This one's the Sunny Sky Racing R1106 6500kV. I got this one from Banggood because I thought it'd be a good one to test uh, just to have more data on motors. Uh, this one's got a typical construction, nothing fancy about it, uh, standard base and uh, bell, nothing fancy about it, just a plain motor. But uh, there are some good things that uh, Sunny Sky did. Uh, for instance, the shaft is two millimeters through the motor. It's a sturdy shaft. The motor comes with uh, about 55 millimeters of uh, wire, a little bit on the short side. Uh, I'd like to see it slightly longer so you can put it on any, any frame all the way to the center mounted ESCs. So let's see what it weighs with this much wire. And that says 7.6 grams, so that's pretty much on par with other motors of this size. Uh, same as with other motors, uh, the shaft uses a C-clip to uh, secure the shaft, so those are easy to remove. So once you remove it, uh, it comes apart pretty easily. So here's the shaft, and as you can see, it's uh, two millimeters. And let's have a closer look under the magnifying glass. Uh, some good attention to detail. As you can see there, uh, Sunny Sky went ahead and did uh, a little bit of reinforcement for the motor wires at the bottom here, uh, the motor leads coming from the stator. As you can see, there's some epoxy being used there at the base of the stator. So that wants to keep the uh, uh, the lead wires in place. So that's that's a pretty nice touch. So. and uh, you can also more or less see the gap, uh, the tolerances on the motor, they look pretty good, uh, actually pretty tight air gap, so this motor should make pretty good power I think uh, based on the construction as you can see uh, nice and good size magnets uh, seems to be good, um, good wire on the stator, fairly nice and thick and uh, nicely packed so this should uh, this should do well at least on the thrust and I think uh. alright so here's the stator on the magnifying glass uh, let's have a quick uh, check on the stator dimension so it is uh, six millimeters pretty much uh, stator height and as you can see, seems to be single strand wire. Pretty uh, nice and thick. Uh, windings look pretty neat. So one thing I've noticed on these Sunny Sky motors, and also some of the motors that are pretty powerful for this size, is that uh, when they have this the stator tooth being uh, somewhat long uh, compared to others. The, these tend to make uh, pretty good power. Of course they'll, they'll use more amps but they make more power. Uh, so right here as you can see uh, it's pretty nice and long this way so you know you're able to pack more copper there. Of course uh, the number of turns is what determines the KV but uh, you're able to distribute the copper much better so so I'm sure that has a little bit to do with the uh, the way the motor makes power. So just kind of interesting uh, the different uh, ways the stators are made. Overall, it looks like a pretty well put together. Of course, uh, only actual use and abuse will tell us how sturdy the motor is. But you know, it's kind of 
sometimes it's kind of hard to gauge how strong a motor is going to be just from looking at it this way uh, pretty much a, uh, nowadays a lot of the motors look pretty good they're nicely manufactured so not until you put them through abuse and crash uh, then you'll see how they survive under, under all the stress we put them through so here's the bell as you can see just typical construction the shaft is uh, just pressed into the bell right there so put it together and let's let's see how it does on the thrust stand Alright, so let's look at the thrust test results for the Sony Sky R1106 6500KV. As we saw, the motor came in at uh, 6580, so pretty close to the spec uh, KV, just a little bit higher. So I went ahead and tested on 2 and 3S. Based on the KV, I thought those would be the best uh, voltages to test on. And the usual props, uh, 2 to 3 inches basically. On 2 inch, thrust is pretty decent on both uh, 2 and 3S but uh, as we go on the larger props two and a half and on that's when we see this motor uh, starts to make some good thrust uh, and actually pretty pretty good thrust uh, this motor is quite powerful as you can see on 3s as we go to the three inch props uh, we're seeing right away above 400 and very close to 500 uh, as you can see here with the gen fan 3035 by 3 basically 500 uh, half a kilogram that's pretty pretty amazing for this tiny motor uh, amps seem to be pretty decent for static uh, keep in mind uh, this is going to be a lot lower once it's in the air it's going to unload so so we expect to see about 35 to even 40 percent lower and these are, are of course uh, burst uh, amps so you're not going to see them constantly these are only uh, they, they only appear momentarily when you punch out or come in out of uh, tight turns. Uh, all these amps are going to seem rather high, but uh, keep in mind, that's static. It's going to be a lot lower once the motor on loads. So overall, a pretty powerful motor compared to other 1106s. This is 
probably one of the highest uh, thrust uh, for 1106 motor uh, of course the amps are gonna be slightly higher so you're gonna need a very good uh, batteries because this motor is gonna demand a lot of amps from from batteries so you'll probably want to use uh, no smaller than 650 probably uh, so this turned out to be one of the most powerful 1106s I've tested so far uh, in this KV uh, range uh, pretty much breaking 400 grams starting with the King Kong 2840 and approaching 500 as you we go up to the 3 inch props so quite a powerful motor alright so those were the thrust test results on this motor hope you find the data useful and until the next one